let's change the garage door so i'm just gonna click generate and immediately we have this new garage door that we can use for the render so over here i have a render that i did a while back and i want to improve it let's say that i actually want to add a new tree over here i can do that by going in a 3d model and actually re-rendering it all again or i can just select it in photoshop click on generate a fill and then just type in tree hit enter and boom we have the results right on one click now this gives us three options of trees that we can choose and i'm just gonna leave it on this one and as you can see this just makes the whole render look really amazing it's realistic it matches the lighting it matches the perspective as well as the scale of the render now let's say i actually want to add a neighboring home in the background so i'm just gonna select this area right here and i'm just going to click generate a fill and i'm going to type in contemporary home i click on generate and then in just a few seconds we do have these results over here so something like this can work or let's say we don't actually like the results that we got we can just click generate again and then photoshop is going to give us three other results so from the new three results we got these two results and i think this one works just fine or we can even use the one that we had previously let's say i want to add something else so i'm just going to select the area right here and then i will click on generate a fill once again and then i will just type in clock of pigeons i'm going to click generate and then in just a few seconds we will have the pigeons on our render so as you can see we already added the pigeons that we did want to add onto our sky we can move them around if we want to but they would look best in the place where we did the selection because that's where it matches the background so you kind of get the idea you can add new things but let's try and change existing objects and materials that we have within the render let's say we want photoshop to give us some inspiration and some guidance on changing some of the materials that we have in the project we can just select the area and without giving any text or prompt to it we can just click generate a fill and we can just click generate and then we'll have to wait a few seconds for the results that will come in so as you can see photoshop has given us a few other options so one of them is without the window uh one of them is kind of weird and it doesn't really work out and this one has a different type of windows here and it has a different material over there so if we do not like these options we can just click generate once again and as you can see these are uh, the new options that photoshop has given us they blended in the material with the rest of them but we can also make it let's say a stone wall so i'm just going to type in stone wall click generate and then photoshop is going to give us a few options so this is one of the options which looks quite all right i like the big window here uh this one looks weird it didn't really come out that well and then the same with this one so this is kind of get the idea if we actually go more in depth with the prompts and stuff like that we can come up with something that is really really cool now another thing that photoshop has added with ai is the remove tool we can choose the remove tool right here and then let's say i want to remove the car that we have over here i can just hold my left mouse while photoshop removes our objects from the render and it blends it almost perfectly with what we have here i think i missed some parts that i didn't select but we can just do it like this and then in just another few seconds we will have that area totally removed and blended in with the rest of the render so as you can see now it just looks like there was never a car there now another very cool option that comes with the new photoshop ai features is actually expanding the image so to do this we click the crop tool we expand it and we just click OK and then I will use the selection, click on the blank area, use generated fill and click generate. And let's see in a few seconds how the Photoshop AI is able to make the image a lot wider than what we actually rendered, saving us a lot of time from re-rendering the whole image with a new aspect ratio. So as you can see, this is wonderful so over here we do have the neighbor's house that we made earlier it has totally expanded it and it just looks larger if we change the aspect ratio it fills and blends in perfectly with the new aspect ratio that we selected now as you can see this tool is super efficient it creates realistic renders and it's quickly becoming a must-have for everyone who creates architectural images so if you want to learn photoshop for architects in just seven days make sure to click the first link in the description